We continue to profile the families hosting breakfast on the farm this summer. We take a trip to Winnebago County. I've always wanted to take care of cattle, um, farming, loved it. Uh, it started out young on, that I really enjoyed tractors and that kind of stuff, but now it's, it's more fun watching the cows and uh, especially with the automated milking, the cows, they really have personalities and getting to see that with every cow because they're kind of doing their own thing all day long. So it's really fun to watch the cows and interact with them and uh, see how we're doing there. Charlie Kanigi is the second generation to care for the cattle and land at this Amro farm. My parents help out quite a bit on the farm. Uh, Dad will help out where needed, and Mom takes care of the young calves and helps keep everything clean. So, uh, and then a few buddies that come and help drive tractor during the summer. So it's a pretty good crew, but we get a lot of work done. The farm is hosting breakfast on the farm this summer. Having guests is nothing new for the Kanigi family. They've welcomed people from around the world. The best thing is just getting the public on a farm to see what is going on. Um, ask questions, do see calves, see, see cows, see how we care for the animals. Carnegie Farms became somewhat of a tourist attraction when it became the first dairy in the United States to install robotic milkers. A lot of people to start out with coming in wanting to see the technology, excited about the new technology, um, but then on the other hand, uh, the regulators, the milk inspectors and the cheese plants, not any experience with this kind of technology, so that was a lot of work and a lot of conversations and meetings to get everybody on board to uh, be able to ship grade A milk. The first robots went in nearly 20 years ago. We're on our second generation, uh, ran the first ones for 10 years and then replaced those boxes and uh, it's just a matter of time till we, there's two more generations past ours already so it's uh, like to anything tech, with technology it uh, moves quick and keeps getting better. It was an investment that made sense to the family. We wanted to adapt that instead of focusing on managing and training people um, and that's being a huge thing now with immigration and finding people willing to do the farm work and uh, we decided to invest in technology to not have to worry about training people. The robots are currently milking 120 cows capacity for this system. The Kanigis also raise their own young stock and do much of their own field work. Charlie is the president of the Winnebago County Farm Bureau and is proud to open their barn doors for breakfast on the farm. Consumers just want to put a face with a farmer and see how they're doing things on the farm and realize that this is where their food comes from. If you're wondering why the Carnegie Farm name sounds familiar, perhaps you were also a fan of the TV show The Bachelor. In 2017, an episode was taped at the farm as part of one of their group dates. The family says it was a pretty entertaining experience that got families talking about farming, which is a positive. Tour the farm yourself at Breakfast on the Farm in Winnebago County. The event is Saturday, June 8th. Breakfast is served from 8 until noon. You can find the address on wearegreenbay.com. Just head to the Midwest Farm Weekly P.